What is up guys? Welcome back to the series that has been on hold for quite some time. Now I went on my Instagram and I checked with you guys who you wanted to see because it's been I think like 11 months since I have published an only friends video because there has been an 11 month period where girls may have become jobless, maybe we're looking for a source of revenue and stumbled across only friends. Person that rang in in that number one spot, the absolute golden trophy was Bakar. Now initially, no lie, I wanted to review Bad Babies, Only Friends, because she released it today. And it's actually kind of astonishing because she has made over a million dollars in the first six hours. Yeah. For those of you who don't know who Bad Baby is, she was the one that was on Dr. Phil, Cash Me Outside, how about that? Now, I get it, she's super famous, she has a ton of followers, but over, wrap your minds around this, over a million dollars in six hours, bruh. That would be like when they discovered all the gold in California and told everyone about it and then people didn't want to go make a fortune. That's an analogy to girls that refuse to make an only friends these days. You're basically refusing to allow yourself to make money even though everyone's already doing it and people are probably going to assume you have one anyway. If I go out on a date with a girl, I live in Las Vegas. I can probably assume with 90% certainty that they probably have an only friends. And if they don't, then I mean, they're really just missing out on money. But anyways, let's get back to Bakhar. She rang in at the number one spot. So I just pushed the subscribe button. Here we go, $9.99, so basically $10 for your subscription. We have 200 posts, 158,000 likes. And uh, I'm not really liking the bio here, to be honest, right away. Whatever your heart desires, except the good stuff. As you scroll down on Only Friends, you get the most recent posts at the top, just like any other social media platform. You guys aren't new to the game, you know how this goes. We've seen it all. The craziest, the most mild, I mean, the, really the whole spectrum has been covered. So Backcar's most recent post is Happy Saturday with I mean, you can assume with Bakar and her Instagram what majority of the content is gonna relate to. So a lot of it is glute related. Unfortunately for you individuals out there that are looking for some glute training advice, this is probably not the site you wanna go and subscribe to. But if you are thirsty, I guarantee you will be very happy here. I'm, I'm gonna see if we can stumble across anything that might be a little more extreme. I mean, hey, nice glutes though. This one is labeled with just a smiling emoji. I mean, it's definitely, I will say, more than you will get on the good old Instagram. I mean, props to her. She's killing it. You know, this one right here, 600 likes, 32 comments, $110 in tips. The thing is with OnlyFriends, there is numerous different avenues of how you can make your money. For the girls that are watching, this might be a little tutorial for you. For guys that are watching, I don't know why you'd be curious, but just to cover it. You can make money through subscriptions, basically how I paid to view her profile. Tips or donations. And then where majority of the money is made is in messages. You can just rake in an absolute fortune. She made like around $750,000 on subscriptions but I mean you can see down there on her message tab she made over you know close to like two hundred seventy thousand dollars just in messaging people okay all right we're getting a little bit crazier here we got another notorious position by Bakhar herself we are definitely gonna get a lot of glute emphasis I, I already know that based before I even push that subscribe button I knew instantly we're gonna get a ton of glue lollipop emoji we got Bakhar what looks to be in a bathroom selfie and a little behind shot with you know the glutes just perfectly in frame i must say she has probably the most killer quads of all time i don't know if back has done that whole watermelon popping challenge but i mean that, that would probably be some content back car if you're watching this which you might be do that okay i guarantee you will rake in a fortune just by posting you potentially Busting a watermelon. I won't even take a percentage. You, you can take that one. That's a freebie. Speak to the feet because the face ain't listening. So for you foot fetish individuals out there, this is your cup of tea. We got full on foot action with also, how can I demonstrate this? Here, here's top foot, bottom foot. Okay. Uh, you know, you basically know what's here. And then a little piece of fabric that goes over. You can kind of see like the outline a little bit. Sunday fun day, we got another notorious position. I'm gonna try and demonstrate these as best possible with my hands. So like back cars, glutes, bed, back, good. All right, we got a video here. First video we've come across. 
Okay, she's flexible. Didn't know that. Okay, a little twerking. Dude, her quads? Yeah. Wait. Her quads? No. I don't know if it's the position or what, but her quads look like three times the size of mine. If she could just send me her leg routine, I would 100% feel like I got the most value out of my $10. We got good night with camera underneath positioned up back car standing over top of it kind of looking over the glute a little bit and once again you have basically the bottom piece just really tucked in there into the crevice i'm basically gonna say it's as close as you can get to being or seeing what you would look like but without being i feel like they're getting <laughs> progressively more revealing so this one i feel like the captions need some work too that's some constructive criticism i'm offering you gotta play on the words. You gotta use innuendos. You gotta really go over the top. But they are progressing somehow as we get into the older uploads, which is a little shocking because normally it's the other way. As they create their only friends, they start a little more PG. And then as time passes, they wanna keep securing the bag. So they progressively make the content more severe, more extreme, more entertaining. You can imagine once again, we have a very popular position or placement of the camera, specifically targeting the glutes with once again, another very thin piece of fabric. I am talking, I actually just found something on my desk that would be very similar. So you see this like low rubber band? Basically, if I put that in between my balls, like separated my balls, envision that on a female. That, that's basically what it is. What are your plans for Valentine's Day? Well, mine were to actually take out Bacar, but um, yeah, that didn't really pan out the way I wanted. We got dinner is served with, as you can imagine. See, I feel like now we're getting to the content that is prime. And what I mean is captions on point, the post is on point. At the time of the recording this, I don't know how I'm gonna censor it in a certain way, but I'm gonna try and show you guys as much as I can probably get away with. What I'm starting to realize is the only friends of Backheart is essentially just a more extreme version of the Instagram. It's like a wet t-shirt contest. When the t-shirt gets wet, like you can see and you know what's there, but there's still like a fabric covering it, but you know what's there. Hey guys, sorry for being silent. I'm going to do a few more posts within the next couple days. So, you know, very popular pose as well. And I mean, we know why her demographic is the way it is. You know, guys love the glutes, the legs. I'm surprised she doesn't show more of the eyes, the blacked out eyeballs, because I think that could be a definite fetish as well. Okay, have a good weekend, y'all. This might be the most extreme one yet. Uh-oh. So uh, I just stumbled across this message, unfortunately. Let's see what this reads. Uh, this message addressed to those who keep linking my only friends content to and publishing it elsewhere. From this day, every Twitter account with my pictures from here is going to be banned by the end of the month. I'm going to raise the price of the subscription. So those who complain about boring blank, I'm posting here, can GTFO. However, the price for my loyal followers is going to be the same, if not less. I mean, I got the subscription for $10, not a bad deal. So I'm gonna pretend that uh, we didn't read that message so that I can continue to review the content for you guys. I thought I was gonna be able to show you. I might be able to show this. Eh, probably not. It's probably, <laughs> eh. I'll, I'll try. I'll try for you guys, okay? But basically it's back car standing in front of the camera with the glutes facing the camera, doing a slow motion bounce so you can get the full voluptuous, you know, action of the glutes in doing what they do. I must say her glutes and legs though are pretty next level. If this video gets 5,000 likes, I will make sure back car actually starts to post for you guys. Maybe I should say 10,000 because I, I, I just kind of feel like that's wrong <laughs> to say 5,000. All right, we got another video. How's everyone's 2021 so far? I mean, mine's great. I've just been subscribing to only friends content. Which color looks better on me? Very similar pose to what we have seen, but I will actually give my opinion on which color I think is better. So we got black and then we got pink. I'm gonna say black. Wish me a good night. So we have 
some piercings going on. Didn't know she had those. And no, I am not talking about the nose. I am talking about elsewhere. Uh, here we get a shot at the eyes, which has been the missing aspect, I believe, so far in her content. But skincare routine. I finally reached the very first post, so it looks like Backcar started the only friends account on December 13th, 2019. Here we go, baby. Hashtag enjoy. And I wanted to see where it all started, you know, the content then versus now, how it has progressed, if it is the same. I must say, I think, in my opinion, it has progressed. Maybe not the most extreme amount. Remember, guys, 10,000 likes, and I will make sure. Back car starts to post more revealing for you. I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments down below. If you guys were to go out on a date with a girl and she told you she had an OnlyFriends, would you continue the date? Would you maybe propose at the date? Or would you leave the date entirely? I just wanna know what you would do. My personal opinion, I think if you are a female and you don't have an OnlyFriends, you are basically sleeping on the easiest money of all time. If you're gonna to subscribe to anyone's OnlyFriends, Please do so with caution, just for a chance to get a message from someone that you believe cares about you. Remember, be careful.